Blazers. Today is Friday, October 25th, 2013. I'm Isabel. And I'm Caitlin. And we are your news anchors from Miss Allen's fifth grade class. Everyone, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice, and justice for all. Please be seated. Today's lunch is bean and cheese quesadilla, chicken patty sandwich, or popcorn chicken salad. Side items include sweet potato coins and shredded lettuce, tomato and pickle cup, and fruit is also available. Here's Miss Chris Singer with Media News. Good morning, Trailblazers. Happy Friday. Today is the last day of the book fair. We will be open until 345 after school. So teachers, if you have not checked out your items, you need to come on down. If there are any grandparents listening or any teachers who would like to buy a teacher book for a teacher, we have those books pulled on top of the shelf. So just come on down and purchase a book for your child's classroom. Now, the exciting news. We have six gift certificates that I will be giving away for students who have met their AR goal last nine weeks. So this is the percentage of their goal that they've met. We have Jacoby Attaway, second grade. Come on down. We have Alexander Neal, third grade. Come on down. And these are $5 gift certificates. Catherine Brinkman, third grade. Come on down. Joshua Rolfs, fourth grade, come on down. Kenjiro Austin, fifth grade, come on down. And the last one is Kathleen Bennett, second grade, come on down. Thank you guys, good job on the, on the AR goals. The other thing we are doing is pulling our state for this time. And I'm going to read and then I'm gonna let somebody pick, okay? Okay, the clues were Swedish immigrants to this state built the first log cabins in North America in 1683. The state bug of this state is the ladybug. This state was named after an early Virginia governor. This state was the first of the original 13 states to ratify the United States Constitution. And the last clue, it is the second smallest state in the United States. So let me get somebody to pick for us. Shuffle those up before you pick, please. Tell us the correct answer. Um, Delaware and Aaliyah Chapman from Miss Bono's fifth grade class. Woo! Come on down. We ha Miss Rockenstein has um, donated this wonderful, can you zoom in on that? This wonderful slime for Halloween. So thank you, Miss Rockenstein, for donating our prize today. And we'll meet you guys up at the circulation desk to get all your prizes. Thanks. Back to you. 
Now here's Miss Mims with an, with an exciting announcement. Woo, guys, guess what? It's Friday, Woo. and I'm in my all red. Did you remember yes. the red red today in mm-hmm. reference to Red Ribbon Week? Mm-hmm. Well, I just want you to know that I went around this morning, I saw all of your lovely doors, and I was just so happy. Woo. And guess what? Mr. Schubert is going to scroll that so that you can see all the doors that were in our door contest this year. In the meantime, while we're waiting for that, guys, I just want you to know that next week that the school store will be open. So popcorn and school store. So come ready. Miss Gresham has boxes upon boxes of stuff in that closet to put out at our store. So make sure you stop by next Friday. Got a chance to kind of see those doors. I tell you, teachers, if you have a few minutes this um, today, sometime, go around and just take your class around to see those doors. Or students, when you get a chance, go around and see the doors. Teachers, I hope that you keep them up through next week so that the ki- uh, the students will have a chance to kind of go around and see all of them. Now, drum roll, please. Thank you. Now to our two winning classes in our pre-K to second grade group. Miss Hodge, first grade class, was the winner of the door contest. Please, Miss Hodge, send someone down as your representative. In our third through fifth grade doors, Miss Whitley, third grade, come on down and send a representative for your class. Now, guys, what that class got was they got a Starbucks. Each person in the class got a Starbucks to spend at the school store. So thank you to all the teachers and all the students who put in all your time and effort to make this one of the most successful Red Ribbon Weeks ever. Thank you. And now back to our anchors. That's it. Oh, wait. Now let's go to Dr. Fu for a few announcements. It's Friday. Good morning, Trail Blazers, and a happy Friday to you. We have a lot going on here at the Soto Trail today, but the most important news that we have right at this moment is that we have one birthday, and that's Marco, Marcos, Nicole. Marcos, come on down to the front office. We are celebrating with you. We have something special waiting for you. And in reference to all of the hoopla that we have going on, yes, Miss Mims, I am in my red, my favorite color. We're celebrating, of course, Red Ribbon Week, but we also have the fourth grade play that's going on this morning. We have Grandparents Day, and you know what, guys? You're awesome. I already know that that play is going to be just out of this world. Lights, action, roll them, cameras, yes, yes. Looking forward to that. Teachers. Special uh, reminder from our cafeteria director, please make sure that you have your lunch count in by 9 o'clock this morning. Very important. We want to make sure we get that in and help her with the process this morning with lunch. Now, we're on to our trivial question. Ms. Keltner said that we've been having a hard time getting the answer. So here's today's trivial question. Which legendary FSU coach is returning to the Doak Stadium tomorrow. I'm going to say that one more time. I think I got some winners. Which legendary FSU coach is returning to the Doak Stadium on tomorrow? And I do believe that's FSU's homecoming game. We are are really counting on you guys getting those answers. Now, last but not least, we want to celebrate some students that, ha- that have mastered their math, extra math facts. And they are addition facts, Cassie Rugg, Rudd, and Cassidy Sigler. For subtraction facts, Elijah Miller. And division facts, Nicholas Wilson. And these students are from Miss Whitley's classroom. Guys, awesome job. Keep up the good work. Again, we got a lot going on, but Trailblazers, I know you guys are going to be out of, out of sight this morning. We're depending on you to show that radiating success uh, behavior this morning. We're celebrating all kinds of things. But that's all the news that I have, and we had no birthdays for this weekend, so that's why I didn't announce any. Well, not on Monday either. 
But that's it for me. I'm going to turn it back over to the news team. That's it for today's edition of WDTS. Great success, Trailblazers. Bye.